Okay. Welcome back. It's still in the lab that showing you launching a virtual machine in AWS. So the first step, we already launched our Linux uh, AWS Linux virtual machine in AWS platform in the cloud. Okay. Next the step two. After we have our VM on the uh, cloud platform, we we need to access it uh, to verify that our machine is running. Uh, so we, we try to access from our local environment into uh, the cloud environment. So step two is here. Connect to your Amazon EC2 instance. Later, we can inst uh, deploy or launch another Linux or Windows operating system. Then we try to connect as well. For this step, first of all, you need a party since most of you using Windows, right? But if you're using Mac or Linux, you can use SSH client. For party, uh, for Windows, we will use party. So how to do that? So we need to, you need to install party or download party. So you can go to Google, party.org here. Then this is download party, right? And click here. Download party. First of all, you must download this file. Windows installer. Download ready. Party. And then after you download, you install it. Okay. The first one is this. The second one, we have another requirement. Since uh, the format of the key file is not uh, the right format, it can be read by AWS. So you need the party gen this one uh, party gen exe key generation utility using rsa and dsa so where is it uh, no for for us we just take this party gen download but for the gen is the execution file no, no need to install just use when you want to use click the exe then you can use it so you have two file down uh, window installer that you need to install when you install, you can get this one, party apps, okay? You get this. Okay, before we connect, we, we need to open our party gen first. This is our party gen. Party gen to generate a password, but we already have the key. Actually, I already have the key. No need to generate. So we just want to save as the file uh, in the format that AWS can understand. So how to do that? To do that, from previous step, you have uh, the key, private key in your PC already. So import the key. To converse. Convert. I store here the PM. Then uh, you need to put uh, key phrase or key fast phrase for me I put ICT to 110 as key phrase ICT to 110 so that when we try to connect uh, they will pop up authentication so you need to put in this authentication with your key and you attach your key data you know. Just to make sure you remember, I just put what ICT to one one oh, that's good. So after this, you need to save the private key. When you save the private key, the name will be dot ppk. This format party private key will be uh, recognized by your AWS. This one already save. For those that didn't save, just save it. Next, you will use it. Okay. So you save, you go to party configuration. Maybe you can see here how to connect your party using your party. Party the host in the category pane, choose session and complete the following field host name, enter uh, your instant address, then connection type SSH. Your port is 22. 
where is it where you can put yeah, this is the, the form right then we need to go to our AWS console EC2 console to look into the uh, required information in the first step you already launch it right the instant this is already running your instance okay. now you have one instant by default after you complete the first step see this is my instant id and the state is running instant type status check and so on so for me i just want to rename so that later i can remember what type of uh, instance is there this one city put ict to my go amazon linux right so later maybe we will install in the linux okay you see here the details public ip address public dns okay either one you can copy public ip before address or public uh, ip version dns try you copy and put here and then you can check back correct this is the address at the same time you can look the security uh, i am rule now i am rule the rules this is the rules of the uh, internal firewall host based firewall you see port range for in inbound rule or incoming traffic they can accept port 22 only means we can use ssh no issue go back to your party you copy and paste here already right then go to your ssh here ssh ssh and authentication a o u t h authentication part so you click browse you locate back dot ppk private key that you already convert from the dot pm the private key file click now you have the private key <coughs> to connect to your instant in aws server or in the type aws data center in north virginia okay click open it will pop up this one right so login as what by default the login name as uh, for the Amazon Linux, you can see here action username EC2 user EC2 user okay put EC2 user then enter so the ticket we public key imported uh, we are imported already open this is key first price for the key that we import i put ict to 110 right yes now i already connect to my virtual machine from my local uh, pc into my virtual machine in aws okay this is how to deploy or in uh, launching the instant you can check where is it EWD, uh, you inside your home ECTU EC2 user okay, go deeply okay. oops so now you are in direct in the main directory so that's all how to uh, connect to your virtual machine so what else here you can see that other than that if you're using linux or mac you can using ssh client okay. or using browser as well okay next in the third step cleaning up your amazon ec2 instant after we can connect means we already have it maybe later we will 
create or launch Ubuntu uh, but for this EC2 or this Amazon Linux we want to remove it uh. you can exit first <coughs> want to remove clean up means we don't want it anymore so later no charges for you you didn't use it anymore after you are finished with the instant that you are created for the quick start you can clean up by terminating instant terminating an instant effectively delete it because you can't reconnect to an instant after you have terminated it this differ from stopping the instant uh, when you stop an instant it shut down and you are not billed for hourly usage for data transfer but you are billed for any amazon ebs volume storage means here if you didn't terminate uh, you didn't uh, delete it you, you can shut down only if you shut down they didn't charge you based on the usage or data transfer but they only charge you based on the volume of the storage how many size of the storage you utilize it is more cheaper cheaper than you run your virtual machine and then you can so restart and stop instant at any time so you can go for additional tutorial if you want to know so how to terminate just in the console in, on the instant page look at your instant open the contact right menu and choose instant state terminate choose yes to terminate then the prompt for confirmation will be display prompt after your instant is made remain result of the console a short while and then in entry is deleted okay, see now we go to our instant back since we have only one instant can go to instant state see here stop instant mean you you will shut down or reboot or restart but now we want to terminate just terminate the instant click terminate the instant will be deleted successfully terminate okay later you will see it will delete it this is very easy when we using clock computing we can launch very fast and also delete very fast because it's not in my in our pc and then they already installed for it it just we just use it no need to install from the scratch looks like when we installed last time uh, our suzy linux all right it's take time to download you need more time and then uh, to install so you need the time but for cloud base they are there just launch the instant and then you can uh, set all the configuration here okay that's all for step two and step three thank you